Hello, we're discussing the coronavirus and how it's affecting the travel, lodging industry, and as a matter of fact, how it's affecting the entire world. Um, so really quickly here, I know there's a lot of news going on around the corona uh, virus and, and how many hotels and how the travel industry is being affected. We're seeing articles from the CDC, from USA Today, Forbes, um, just across all news channels. As a matter of fact, uh, many of you, like myself, are getting messages about universities that are uh, uh, deciding to go with only online courses right now. A lot of people working from home, um, trying to really make sure that the coronavirus does not spread um, and we get control over what's actually happening with the virus. A lot of mixed messages. Some people are really not too concerned with it. Others are very concerned with it. Regardless of where you stand on whether or not the media is making this worse or not, is we have to deal with the, what the facts are. The facts are um, online travel agencies are down about 20.5% right now. Airlines, 16.5% versus last year. Cruise lines, 14.9%. While hotels are holding steady with only about 0.6%. Um, uh, so less than 1%, about half of a percent in change right now. Um, but we are seeing a lot of major conferences being canceled. So let's talk about that for a quick second. And as business owners, as hotel owners, as travelers and consumers, how should we interact or how should we deal with what's happening? Number one, if you look at the psychology of us as travelers, why is it that travel agencies and airlines have taken the largest hit? Well, when you look at leisure travel, right, relating online travel agencies, which are down about 20 and a half percent to airlines being down 16 and a half percent, that 16 and a half, a bulk of that is going to be correlated and related to online travel agency bookings, right? Because those travel agency book, bookings are booking airlines as well. So when travel agencies drop, so do the airlines. That correlation is related to leisure and pleasure, right? Typically people are booking their family trips and now it's like, well, I don't want to be concerned. So I'm just not going to take this family trip, right? So that's the first part of this. From there, cruise lines, why are cruise lines being affected as well as the airlines, right? Is being in confined spaces and close quarters with other people that could be sick, right? And people are typically sensitive already, right? A lot of us have hand sanitizer and, 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 and hand wipes and things like that just as part of our normal routine of everyday living. Now you add the fact that you can really catch this and it can uh, also be transmitted to others, people are being ultra sensitive to this. So they don't have to travel, they're not traveling. Take it a step further, the CDC is encouraging people to not travel unless absolutely necessary. Um, and they have some details as to when you should or when you shouldn't and what places you ab absolutely should avoid. The hotel space, the travel industry, they're all responding to what's happening. Uh, businesses in general are coming out and communicating with their customers by saying things like, you know, we're cleaning more often. We're making sure that we sanitize more often. These are the same steps that you should take as a business owner, as a hotel owner, to make sure you communicate that to the folks that are still traveling. There still is business travel going on. And while a lot of it is being avoided, right, how are sporting events going to be handled? How are large uh, uh, gatherings going to be handled like events and conferences. Coachella is mentioning that it's postponed. You're also watching and possibly some of these are going to cancel. You're watching, watching potentially the 2020 Summer Olympics in, in Tokyo being a, a discussion, um, game developer conferences, South by Southwest. I mean, the list continues to go on of, of, hey, if you gather a bunch of people into one of these conferences, no different than a cruise line, right? Gather, gathering a bunch of people in one place. The fact of the matter is if somebody gets sick, it's going to multiply at a much faster rate than it would if we were not in these types of events or in these types of uh, close proximity, shaking hands, hugging, and so on and so forth with, with other people, which could likely transmit the disease much, much quicker. Um, so a couple things. The largest fear currently is that this is going to continue for a period of time. As business owners, that's a very tough thing to face. So we are going to have to face that. How do you make sure that during this process of understanding that people possibly could be getting sick or possibly could be canceling, that you really extend the olive branch to your guests, 
to your customers to say, we understand what's happening and we're not going to penalize you through this process. So airlines, hotels, uh, other uh, travel uh, companies and businesses are basically saying, look, we're not going to charge you cancellation fees. We're not going to hurt you through this process because obviously we also don't want somebody coming into our property that is sick. We're not going to encourage somebody to come in that's sick and could spread this to our team because if that happens, we won't have anybody to actually work the hotel in a healthy manner. Um, so we're going to keep an eye on what's happening, but really interesting, a couple other statistics. Hilton is expecting a 1.5% hit to the rev par, revenue per average room uh, growth uh, because of the outbreak. And they've closed 150 hotels in China, which so the international space is in, 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 in grave danger as it relates to how long these hotels could withstand the storm that is the coronavirus and how it's affecting our ability to manage our businesses. Now, again, we're gonna kind of keep an eye on what's happening. Uh, we'll keep updating everybody. Please be safe, follow kind of these rules of not touching, touching your mouth and, and, and trying to make sure that you're staying in areas that don't encourage this type of group atmosphere that could spread um, uh, the, the uh, virus further. Um, please comment below, love to hear some thoughts. Uh, as to how the travel industry is going to respond or how long some of this could go on. I know everybody's kind of guessing, even the experts right now. Uh, but uh, like I said, as customers, as business owners, think on both sides of the fence. Uh, don't turn this into a negative thing for your business where we are hurting the consumer when really they're just trying to protect themselves, their families, and your business by not going there and spreading something that could make it much worse. Uh, thanks for listening.